Hey guys, Pedro here from MyColorScreen.com giving you another Android home screen tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very minimal, sleek looking home screen by Pezcheck or Pezek. It is a pure minimal version 2.0. This is the second installment of its pure minimal home screen setup. Now all you minimalistic fans out there are going to absolutely adore this home screen. He actually made this home screen for 480 by 800 home screens. But, I have some great news for you guys today. I actually resized the wallpapers correctly to fit your Nexus 4 users out there, your 720p screen users out there, and your 1080p screen users out there. Now, don't worry, you guys probably be like, oh, well, the file's all correct for my screen size. It's just a wallpaper issue. That's really all you guys are going to have to use for this home screen. But, you know, it has some, it's a very clean looking interface. It has like three home screens, and it, it's really hard to explain, but I'm pretty sure you guys are going to enjoy this home screen as much as I do. So, enough of me babbling. Let's get into this Android home screen tutorial right now. Alright guys, here's Pure Minimal Version 2 by Pezek or Pezcheck. Uh, sorry buddy for ruining your name or butchering it. But here it is. This is a beautiful home screen by him. It is actually the second installment of his pure minimal home screens. Uh, this is actually a very this is actually a favorite of mine because you know it has all the core functions that you need on a phone with a very minimal looking setup. Over here, my favorite screen, which actually are hotspots to my apps down below, along with the time. Next up is my notifications, which shows the notifications uh, for everything I need: my phone, messages, mail, battery, and the actual temperature, along with the time once again on the bottom. The next screen I have my music controls, which actually you know matches uh, everything correctly for the screen along with my time once again. But enough of me talking. Let's get this beautiful minimal home screen onto your Android device right now. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is go right into our Nova or Apex Launcher settings. Now these are the exact settings you're going to be using for Apex. I just personally use Nova. So we go right into our desktop. Our desktop grid is going to be a 10 by 9. 10 rows with 9 columns. Going to make sure that our width margin is set to none, as long as our height margin is also set to none. Let's scroll down, make sure that our persistent search bar is shut off. We do not show a shadow. We have infinite scroll scrolled, <laughs> infinite scroll turned on, excuse me. And your scroll effect can be whatever you want it to be. I personally use card stack, and I'm pretty sure with Nova Prime you have many more options. Going to make sure that resize all widgets is checked. And that our widget overlap and overlap when placing is also checked under advanced. We're going to go right into our dock and we're going to totally disable it 100% so we have no dock. Go into look and feel. I'm going to go right over here to notification bar and I'm going to uncheck the show notification bar. Next up, we're going to go right into our wallpaper settings. Now one thing I forgot to tell you guys is that in our desktop, we're also going to make sure that we have three home screens, uh, not two or one or four. Make sure that we have three home screens so we can actually set up our wallpaper correctly. So when we get right into our wallpaper, we're going to go hold down our screen, go right into wallpapers, go into gallery. Now if you guys transferred all the files correctly uh, into your phone, which is right down below, you should be presented with the wallpaper that you need. Now he made this home screen specifically for 480 by 800 screens, but I made a wallpaper to fit your Nexus 4 users and also made 720p wallpapers and 1080p wallpapers so you guys can fit this on your screen. So I'm going to be personally using the Nexus 4 wallpaper that I made, so it should fit exactly just like this. So I'm going to hit OK. Gonna set the wallpaper and it should look just like this. Next up, we're gonna go right into our ultimate custom clock widget setting. All right, now that you have your Nova Launcher settings or Apex settings all set up and your wallpaper is all set up correctly with the three home screens, we're gonna be starting up with our ultimate custom clock widget, the top banners. Now to get these banners, we're gonna hold down our home screen, go into widgets, scroll all the way down to UCCW, and then we're gonna select a four by one widget. Now if you guys download all the files correctly down below and put it into your phone, you guys should have made a folder that contains all the users needed for this home screen. So on the top right, we're going to select use it. You're going to navigate to the folder which you put under. For me, I put it under pure minimal version 2.0. And then you're going to select pure banner favorites dot use it. Going to override it. Now make sure this is on the first screen. So we're going to hold down 
and put it over here and resize it accordingly just like that now for the second screen we're going to hold down our home screen once again go into widgets scroll all the way down to UCCW we go to a 4x1 and this time we're going to select the pure banner notification so on the top right hit use it and select pure banner notification dot use it tap it and then resize it accordingly just like the first screen should look just like that and for the third home screen finally going to hold down our home screen go into widgets scroll down to UCCW go to a 4x1 once again top right and this time we're going to select pure banner music that use it and there you go we're going to tap it and then we're going to resize it just like how we resized for the other two screens just like that next up we're going to be setting up our middle UCCW widgets starting off with the favorites home screen alright so now under our favorites home screen we're going to hold down our home screen go into widgets scroll all the way down to UCCW and we're going to select a one by one now we're going on the top right we're going to hit use it and over here we're going to select the pure favorites that use it it should all be under the same folder with the other use it going to override it tap it down it should be really small but we're going to resize it so it actually fits just like that now make sure that you have this space underneath here because we're going to be adding actually more UCCWs so that is it for the favorite screen next up we're going to go into the notification screen go to hold down our home screen go into widgets go down to UCCW and then we're going to select another one by one UCCW on the top right we're going to go and select pure notifications that use it I'm going to override it. Tap it right here, it should be really small. So we're going to resize it accordingly. Just like that. Now once again, make sure that you actually have the space underneath the bottom. So now we're actually going to actually change this Gmail because you know it gives you an error. So we're gonna go right into the UCCW app to show you how to actually show this the correct inbox for your email. Alright, so we're gonna hold down our home screen, go into apps. I'm going to scroll all the way down until we see UCCW. It should be right here. We're going to open UCCW. On the top right, make sure that lock widgets is shut off so we can actually edit the UCCW widget to its own liking. And when that is done, we can actually just drag this away. Select the Gmail, you know, it says Gmail select an account and label. So we're going to tap that. Go into background. I'm going to scroll all the way down until it says Gmail 1. On the bottom, we're going to go all the way into controls number 5. We're going to select your account. And when that is selected, we're going to select the label. It could be whatever you want. I'm going to select all mail. Exit out of that, and it should show the correct inbox messages for your notification page. Next, we're going to go right into music. Now, he didn't specifically made, well, specifically, sorry about that. Uh, make a music use it. So I personally use phantom music control So I'm going to hold down my home screen now. I'm pretty sure you guys could just go and pick whatever music widget of choice that you want I personally am going to be using phantom music control right here I'm gonna hit confirm. I'm going to drag this right in the middle now once again, this is personal preference uh, All up to you. I just find this to be the most cleanest way to actually Justify the music use it and there you go guys you guys should have the middle section all complete with your UCCW widgets All right, so the next thing we're going to do is set up our time This is the last part for this home screen this is all going to be on the bottom of each UCCW screen right here So we're going to go and start with favorites we're going to hold down our home screen go into widgets scroll all the way down to see UCCW and we're going to go right into a 4x1 top right hit use it and it should be the last use it on the bottom pure time that use it so we're going to select that override it since I have it 
touch here and it should be a really small clock so we're going to resize it accordingly just like that now we're going to be doing the same thing for the other two screens so once again hold down the home screen go into widgets scroll all the way down to UCCW go to a 4x1 and once again go into pure time that use it tap it and then you're going to resize it accordingly on the bottom just like how we did for the other screen now for the last screen guys we are just about done we're going to hold down our home screen go into widgets scroll all the way down to UCCW we're going to make a 4x1 and once again top right use it go into pure time overwrite it tap right here and then resize it accordingly just like that and there you have it guys it is pure minimal versus 2 by Pezcek Bezek <laughs> sorry if I'm butchering your name but there you go guys have it this is actually a very clean minimal home screen for you guys now remember guys don't stop customizing this is Pedro from mycolorscreen.com and I'll catch you guys later